Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. This spell is particularly to draw them in. This is for those of you guys that don't really know where you stand with the person or partner that you're interested in. For others of you, you could be in a long-term relationship and don't really know where you stand with this person. This is to push that commitment, to push them to constantly think of you and see you only in a beautiful light having the desire and the want to be drawn to you, to become one with you. So again, if you guys are currently dealing with a some type of temporary separation, and when I say temporary, must not be longer than three months where the separation occurred or where there was some type of temporary breakup. This will definitely draw them back to you. But again, must be very important. If it's been more than three months, it's going to be a longer process, okay? So... This is basically, like I said, to draw in love for those of you guys that are single and are trying to bring to you a long-standing relationship. You can also do this for that. Um, so what do we need? The ingredients. You're going to need an apple, as you guys can see here. We're going to need the full apple, and you're going to cut the top part out. You're going to take out the inside of the apple as we are going to be putting things, the ingredients in there. Now you're also going to be needing some sea salt. As you guys can see, any type of salt will do, preferably sea salt though. You're also going to need some rose oil, cinnamon oil. For those of you guys that have either purchased on our online store, the uh, come to me oil or the binding oil those both oils do have cinnamon in it and also rose oil so there is a mixture of different it has hibiscus oil it has a full mixture of love drying oils um, but for this particular spell if you don't have those you can always use rose oil or cinnamon oil if you don't have that you can always mix cinnamon powder with olive oil and that will do just fine okay all right, what you're also going to be needing is you're going to be needing three red candles. Now, this is a three-day ritual, okay? So you're going to need three candles. Uh, for every night, you're going to be lighting one candle. You're also going to be needing a petition paper, preferably white, no lines. Um, you're also going to be needing a marker, preferably a black marker. You're going to be needing some type of wine. You could use any type of wine. We're going to be using the sweet red wine but doesn't have to be sweet. You can also use or opt for just regular red wine. Um, we're also going to be needing a plate, as you guys can see here, and you're going to be needing some roses, as you guys can see here, and we're also going to be needing some honey, okay? So, where's my honey? Right here, okay? So that's what we're going to be needing. Let's get into the spell work. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to get the petition paper and you're going to write down their first name and last name and date of birth just like you see it here first name last name date of birth going down five times okay so you're going to write the first name last name and date of birth five times going down now if you're doing this to draw in love obviously if you're not doing it for a specific target what you're going to be doing is you're going to be writing down I call my one true love or I call my lifetime partner and you're going to write it down five times going down okay all right once we do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the paper as you can see towards yourself you're gonna fold it once then turn it to the right and you're gonna fold it again okay towards yourself we have I'm actually doing this for a client so I have their information here but this is just for showing purposes okay so once we're done with that we're gonna put it to the side now what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be cutting the apple so if you guys can see here we've already done that not sure if you guys can see clearly here let me try to light it a little bit brighter there we go hopefully you guys can see better all right so like you like I said like you said like I said you're going to cut the apple and you're going to take out the inside of the apple, making it hollow, as you guys can see here. And you're going to keep the top. Why? Because we're going to cover it once the ingredients are inside and we are going to seal it with the wax of the candle. All right. 
Okay, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is you're going to get the three red candles. Like I said, this is a three-day ritual. So you're going to get the candle, and what you're going to do is you're going to write down your target's name, meaning your partner or your love interest. Um, you're going to write their first name and last name going down, okay? So from the top to the bottom, their first name, last name, and date of birth, okay? From the top of the wick all the way to the bottom. Now, if you're doing this as a general to draw in love towards you, again, you're going to write down going down, calling my one true love, okay? And you're going to do this three times around the candle. You're going to do that for all three candles. Once that is done, what we're going to do now is you're going to, I'm going to bring the apple to the side. And what we're going to do is we are going to make a circle with the salt. Okay. So we're going to make a circle with the salt going around. Okay. And the reason why we are using the salt here is because if this is a partner, um, a person that you've been dealing with for a while, if there's been arguments or fights, or like I said, if you don't know exactly where you stand with them, this is going to, the salt is going to remove any blockages that you may currently be dealing with or experiencing in regards to your relationship or the connection between you and your partner. So that's the reason why we're doing the salt and it is a circle of protection. It's protecting the relationship. It's protecting the connection. So once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the petition paper and we are going to burn it. Okay. So give me one second. So what we're going to do is we are going to burn the petition paper and you're going to light it completely and let it burn out. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to let it completely burn out and we're going to use we're going to use um the ashes Okay, so we're going to be using the ashes for the petition. So make sure to put your energy and your focus when you're doing this. It is crucial and very important. Really focus and project the energy into as the paper is burning, um, focusing primarily in what you're trying to draw in or what you're trying to grow within the relationship. As an example, if there's been a separation, your focus should be for them to come towards you, for them to miss you, to think of you, to want to be around you. For those of you guys that are doing fine, but you don't know exactly where you stand in this relationship because it seems like they just don't want to commit, you're putting your energy and effort towards the manifestation of a long-term commitment you're excited and focused and really honing into the energy of how you're going to feel when your partner wants to make it official or when your partner starts to talk about the future, um, the future with you, when they start talking about commitment, when they start talking about taking it to the next level, etc. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to um, get the ashes and put them inside the apple. And you guys already know, like I tell you guys, focus, um, projecting the energy and really um, knowing exactly what it is that you're looking for in regards to results is what's going to give you the results that you're looking for when we're talking about love um, spell work. Okay, so once that is done. What we're going to do now is we're going to add um, some rose petals on here. So I'm going to get some of the rather dry ones only because I prefer to use the dry ones, especially for, okay, you don't need very much. I'm going to put it in there. All right. 
and once that is done what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to add some of the rose and cinnamon oil and add the honey and the red wine but give me one second first in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost i bless and consecrate and charge and empower this apple so that it may give results to my client as quickly and as effortly as possible removing any blockages that they currently may be experiencing I call upon my spirit guides and my archangels to assist me to be able to empower and strengthen this spell work that is about to commence for my clients. In perfect trust and in perfect love. Blessed be. Okay, so once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we are going to add some of the cinnamon powder here. And... Okay, and now we're going to add some of the cinnamon um, or rose oil. In my situation, I'm going to be using some of the binding oil that we have, that we use for, okay, and you don't need very much. Okay, oof, this smells amazing. If you've purchased my oils, you know how they smell. <laughs> amazing okay so once that is done what we're gonna do now is we are going to so we already added okay so we need the honey so you're gonna add some of the honey inside the apple here okay You guys, I wish you guys can smell this. It smells so amazing. Okay. All right. Oh. This is getting a bit messy. All right. So once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we are going to add some of the red wine so i'm going to pour it on a shot glass just so i don't over pour okay so we're going to add the red the red wine Okay. Save it. Okay. Let me just clean this up really quick. All right. So it's going to look something like this, my lovelies. After that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to cover the apple and we're going to light the candle. Um, so once we cover the candle, sorry not the candle the apple okay let me okay that's good so like i said this is a three-day ritual so it's going to be very important every single night um you're gonna light it once every single night until you complete the three nights it is important that whatever time you're doing this and you can do this anytime, preferably in the new moon to the waxing moon. Whatever time it is that you choose, meaning you can do this. If you want to do this during the day, you can always do this, but it would have to be really early in the morning, around the time of sunrise. If you're doing this in the evening or in the night, preferably 9, or, uh, 9 p.m. or 12 at midnight, Make sure that whatever time you do this, that's the time that you're going to be doing or lighting the rest of the candles throughout the three days. Very important, okay? So once that is done, we're going to light the candle. So after the candle has been lit, you're going to let it burn out a little bit. And we're going to pour it into the apple so that we can seal it with the wax, okay? So like I said, Take your time when doing this. It is very important and very crucial 
to take your time. Do not rush when doing this type of spell work. Um, now, for those of you guys that are doing this, um, for those of you guys that are doing this uh, to draw in love, um, focus when melting the wax, focus specifically in the type of partner that you're trying to draw in. What is it their attributes? What is it that their physical features are? How do they treat you? How do they make you feel? That type of energy. And it's the same thing if you're doing this for a specific target. How do you want the turnaround to be? Try to visualize and focus in the way they treat you, the way they communicate with you, the way they express themselves. How is it that you're going to notice that the spell work is taking place? Well, they're going to be much more sweeter much more delightful. They're going to be very uh, thoughtful, very caring, very sensitive. They're going to be very thoughtful, bringing roses to me um, out of the blue without expectancy. They will go above and beyond to show the love and the desire that they have to have me and to place me in their life. They will constantly be talking about plans, planning for the future trips that we may take if they have children, introducing me to their children, bringing me around their children, trying to show me and integrate me into their lives. When you're doing all of this, again, like I said, focus, visualize. Let only love radiate from your heart as this is a true love spell. So it is important and crucial not to do it with any malice. If you're doing this to uh, basically bind the person to you or if your relationship is toxic, and um, out of the you know toxicity um, if there is no growth or self-growth that you want to do meaning things that perhaps you need to work on yourself uh, in order to become a better partner this spell is not going to work for you this is a true love spell and what that means is that only love may radiate and vibrate to the highest of frequencies in order to be able to see fully the amazing results that this is going to give you like I said, this is a third uh, three-day ritual. So every single night at the same hour, at the dot, you're going to light your candle. So when we're doing this and when we are melting the wax on the can, uh, sorry, not the candle, the apple, what we're going to chant is the, the following. You're going to say, I take the powers of the universal love to sweeten your heart, tranquilize your mind, and create stability in your emotions by the power of fire, creator is done. Okay, so I'm going to repeat it again. I take the powers of the universal love to sweeten your heart, tranquilize your mind, and create stability in your emotions by the power of fire, creator is done. So if you're doing this um, to draw in love and you're not doing this for a particular partner, what you're going to say is, I take the powers of the universal love to sweeten the heart of my one true love, to tranquilize their mind and create stability in their emotions as they come towards me. By the power of fire, creator is done. And focus primarily in the love that you're trying to experience, that you're trying and willing to give as well. Um, so that's why I'm saying if you're doing this just out of spite or if you're doing this to one up your partner or if you're doing this to have them um, pretty much under your dominions, but your main focus or your main goal here is not true love, this spell, it will give you results, but it will break rather quickly because this is meant primarily to draw in true love, okay? So like you guys can see, it's going to start to look something like this. Take your time when doing this. It is very important. And like I said, it is a three-day ritual, so you're going to be doing this for three nights. And um, after the three nights, what you're going to do is you're going to dispose of it um, by burying it. So my advice would be to bury it by your garden, by a rose bush. If you have a rose bush, if you don't, and you have trees, you can bury it by the tree. Bury it by um, primarily or ideally 
uh, in the garden of your home. If you live in apartments or whatnot, you can always get yourself a plant and bury it under the plant um, and make sure to take care of that plant, okay? This is why I prefer um, to do all my clients' workings um, by the trees that we have in the rose bushes um, only because it is something that is constantly being watered and being nurtured. So again, it will last uh, longer. Okay. And it's going to look something like this. Like I said, take your time when doing this. Don't rush it. After the three nights, this uh, app was going to be completely full of wax. It smells amazing, you guys. All right, my lovelies. Well, I will continue to do this for my client. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope if you try it out, definitely come back and let us know. Let um, others that may be interested in doing it, let them know your results and your experiences when doing this work. I wish you guys the very best. Definitely stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to my channel so that you guys may help with the algorithm as well as to continue growing our channel so that we can continuously keep uploading tons of new spell videos that are coming your way. We are at the end of the year, so you guys know I got you guys when it comes to spell work and cleansings that we can do um, to prepare ourselves for the new year. Also, I want to let you guys know you guys can go to our online store. Next week on Friday, we will be um, having the ritualized baths prepared for you guys. So for any of you guys that are interested in blockbuster removal of hexes on uh, road openers, drawing in love to you, um, or the, um, what's the other one I had? I had another one that is for abundance and success in all your endeavors. Um, and these are ritualized. They are prepared. All you have to do is just put the herbs and the powders in a cheesecloth, a uh, cheesecloth, <laughs> cheesecloth or a sacket bag and drop it in your bathtub and you're ready to go. You're ready to cleanse yourself or to draw in abundance and success or love, whatever it is that you're looking for. We will be having all of those um, available to you guys next week on Friday. So I wish you guys the very best. Hope you guys enjoy. I will continue doing this for my client and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.